I, 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 my first time in life coming in the other day, they told me, say, buddy, that's the crossroads. And I say, it's, I didn't never get there, but I'm, thank God I hung around long enough to see it. And then, you know, from the Robert Johnson and the Muddy Waters and the Howlin' Wolf and all those people that came from here, thank you. The John Lee Hookers. And then we were ignored for quite a few years until, if you shut up, I'm going to tell you the truth, and you don't have to read this in no book because they don't like to print this shit. But if you don't want me to tell you the truth, you shouldn't have never brought me here no way. Then the British people got those people music and they came back here playing it. And everybody was saying it's an invasion of British music. And they had a group called the Cream, and they sounded like this. I'm just going to give you an example of what they sounded like. You know, they, they sounded like this. Another guitar player that was hanging around Seattle, Washington, and New York City, and they ignored him, and he had to leave and go to England. And when he went to England, he come back, and he went over and he made something go like this. <laughs> Was dedicated 
Man, Stevie Ray wasn't even born when I'm finna talk about it. I don't want to say that with these young kids in there, but you shut the fuck up. They just dedicated a street to him tonight, and he was from here, and he, he made music go something like this. <laughs> Shoot you right down, right off of your feet. Boom, 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 boom. By the way, that was John Lee Hooker, man, not Stevie Ray. <laughs> <laughs>